Good morning. Welcome to Holy Trinity Church on this, the second Sunday of Advent. Once again, we're privileged to entertain the Bishop of Myra, who is coming to us uh, here at Holy Trinity in Juneau all the way from the, well, I forget, second century of uh, our common era. Welcome, and thank you for coming out once again to help us to prepare in this season of Advent. Grace be with you and everyone else. O oh God, we light the second candle of Advent. We stand in a wilderness of uneven ground and rough places. We listen for a voice for your messenger to speak comfort and justice. Isaiah announced your coming to a people exiled in a broken and parched wilderness. He declared that God's redemption would make a highway in the desert and change the rough places into plains. God would come as a shepherd, feeding, leading, and cradling the weary flock. This second Sunday of Advent, we seek the transformation of hearts. Saving God, look upon your world and heal this your land and your people. Prepare us to be changed. Teach us to be tender and generous with others as you are with us. Amen. In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Blessed are you, holy and living God. You come to your people and set them free. God of flaming truth and burning compassion, give to your people the courage to turn to you with awe, but without abject fear. As we turn to you, turn to us, we pray, and in the light of your presence, let us find our true love and worship. Therefore, let us confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways in the glory of your name amen almighty god have mercy on you forgive you all your sins through the grace of jesus christ strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the holy spirit keep you in eternal life amen a lesson from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, and that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley will be lifted up, and every hill and mountain be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. Their grass withers, the flower fades. But the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift it up. Do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. 
See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother's sheep. Here ends the lesson. The psalm today are verses from Psalm 85. You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people and blotted out all their sins. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for he is speaking peace to his faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to him. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The gospel is from Mark the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people.
the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let us declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we wait in joyful hope, we pray the prayer our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation. Give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God of timeless grace, you fill us with joyful expectation. Make us ready for the message that prepares the way, that with uprightness of heart and holy joy, we may eagerly await the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ, who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. God of hope, you call us from the exile of our sin with the good news of restoration. You build a highway through the wilderness. You come to us and bring us home. Comfort us with the expectation of your saving power made known to us in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of all, God of shalom, we come before you with hearts seeking to know and understand the words of the prophets, the words of the angels, the words of peace that rise around us in this holy season. We pray that you will open us to the meaning of peace that you will teach us the way of peace, that we will indeed understand your will for justice for all your world. Help us to be faithful to the call that you have put on our hearts to live as people of hope. Amen. Almighty God, purify our hearts and minds, that when your Son, Jesus Christ, comes again as Judge and Savior, we may be ready to receive him, who is our Lord and our God. Amen. God of hope, you raised up John the baptizer as a herald who calls us to conversion. As we joyfully await the glorious coming of Christ, we pray to you for the needs of this church and for the world. In the church, we pray for our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, the Reformed Episcopal Church of Spain, our bishop, Mark Latim, and his family, in this diocese, Episcopal Congregation in Noatak, and in this deanery, St. John's Ketchikan. We pray for all those in leadership positions, especially our president, our president-elect, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials. We pray for the residents of Wildflower Court, the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, Johnson Youth Center, Family Promise, Haven House, the Warming Center at the Jack and Centennial Hall, and the Glory Hall. We pray for peace and safety and a peaceful transition. We pray for the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray especially for those in need and for those suffering, for Gail, for Leah and Kiera, for Irindera and Jerry, for Rosie and Gail, for Joyce, for Father Wilson, for Jeff Brown, for Jeanette, for Mary and Jacob, and Jim Bird, for Larry C, for Terrence, for Reed, for Saul, for Greta, for Martha Ellen, for all those affected by the Pacific Coast fires, and all those affected by the terrible flooding and landslide in Haines. Lord, we give thanks for the four people who were found alive in Haines after those mudslides. We're also thankful for the change of seasons and thankful that no one week's worth of weather is going to be the weather forever particularly after these storms. So we thank you for the passing of that storm and just for your goodness in general. Lord, we pray for the departed, most especially for the most Reverend David, 
for Laura Washington and for all the many people who have died during this pandemic. We invite your petitions and intercessions at this time aloud or in your hearts. Hear our humble prayer that we may serve you in holiness and faith and give voice to your presence among us until the day of the coming your son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. For the additional prayers of the congregation. We have prayers for birthdays, for anniversaries, and for travelers. Quite a cohort of birthdays in the congregation this week. Um, we have Annie, Kristen, Mary Jane, Lena, Amber, Susan, Rosemary, Carol, and Kira. Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants, Annie, Kristen, Mary Jane, Lena, Amber, Susan, Rosemary, Carol, and Kira, as they begin another year. Grant that each of them may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen each of their trusts in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. No anniversary is known in the congregation this week, but certainly there are people around the world in our community celebrating anniversaries. God of tenderness and strength, you have brought many couples together and led them into marriage. Continue with them now as they travel through good times, through trouble, or through change. Bless their homes, their partings, and their meetings. Make them worthy of each other's best and tender with each other's dreams, trusting in your love in Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, travelers, I think Julie is traveling this week. Um, there may be others. Lord God, our Father, you kept Abraham and Sarah in safety throughout the days of their pilgrimage. You led the children of Israel through the midst of the sea, and by a star you led the wise men to the infant Jesus. Protect and guide those who set out to travel. Be with Julie. Make their ways safe and their homecomings joyful, and bring us all at last to our heavenly home. For you dwell in glory with your Son and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. 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 And Lena, that birthday, that's that's tomorrow. That is tomorrow, yes. And you barely slid by. <laughs> I'll for you after, after the service, because it's tomorrow. So do you have any other announcements? Like where are you going? What you doing on your birthday? Anything like I, that? I think I'm going to stay home this birthday. But I do have announcements. Um, first of all, I want to tell you, if you go to the website, trinityjuno.org, and you click on the Sunday bulletin link, you can download the bulletin and you can read the announcements at your leisure. And it will give you a calendar of everything that's happening through the week. Um, what I want to say is, first of all, thank you to everyone. When we've made appeals for help with Head Start, Glory Hall, 
backpack ministry, the um, director's discretionary fund. You all have been more than generous and we thank you. But I've got one more appeal to make and that's for our operating fund. And that's what pays the lights and the heat and the mortgage and Father Gordon's salary and Allison's salary and, and, and takes care of all the things that keep the building itself, both, both the church building and the rectory going. And we could use a little love in the operating fund right now. So if you've got a little to spare, it would be really nice if you could funnel a little of that in our way. You can send a check to the church. You can donate online. Just, just say you want it to go to the operating fund. And I hope that you have received your letter from the vestry about the stewardship um, campaign. It's actually a pretty decent letter, you know, as those letters go. And, and I really love the part where it talks about the fact that 2020 is going to be one of those phrases, catchphrases that we're going to keep in our minds for a very long time, as if, you know, we want no more 2020. But we need to finish out 2020, so please think about a, uh, a little extra into the operating uh, fund and think about a pledge for next year. We will not be out of the building forever. One of these days, we're going to be able to move back into the building and we're going to be able to worship with each other and we'll be able to sing our hymns of praise together. And I'm looking forward to that. But, you know, we have to have an operating budget to, to be able to have a building to go back into. So please be generous if you can. Back to you, Gordon. Thank you, Lena. I can see clearly now some rain must fall. That's the 2020 theme song. Slow now. Wait and work for the coming of the day of God in the wild places like this one. Prepare a straight path for the Lord. Lead lives of holiness and godliness. Strive to be found at peace. And speak freely of the Lord's comfort and promise. And may God, our shepherd, gather you in loving arms. May Christ Jesus reconcile justice and peace within you. And may the Holy Spirit baptize you into the life of God. Amen. As we await our coming Savior, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. And along your way, be sure to join us for a time of fellowship and bring your own coffee at the parish coffee hour immediately afterwards. Bye-bye.